We're just getting home from our canned food shopping spree. Are you a beginning prepper or are you a grandmaster prepper who has been at it for decades? Either way, you're probably going to want some canned food on hand for when the crap hits the fan. Turn on the news and we got crap hitting the walls, crap hitting the fans, you name it, it's a mess out there. Let's get ready and stock up on some canned food. Why do we want canned food? Well, canned food is great because it requires no refrigeration for long-term storage. Good canned food will typically last at least two to five years and much longer depending. And because of the variety of canned food available to us, we can make up a menu that will apply to the majority of us. And also, canned food requires no additional water, unlike freeze-dried food for the heating process. And I'd rather eat canned food all day as opposed to a breakfast, lunch, and dinner filled with insect protein like the powers that be would have us do. Personally, I don't want to participate in the real life Hunger Games nonsense, which is why I'll continue to stack food to the rafters and canned food will be a part of that food storage. So everything we're gonna go over was either purchased at Amazon, Costco, or Walmart. Everything purchased off Amazon is gonna have links in the description below. Now let's go over the top 25 best canned foods that you're gonna to wanna to consider adding to your long-term food storage. And to start off with, we're gonna go over the best canned meats available. And first on that list is actually gonna be canned bacon. Who knew you could buy canned bacon? Good old Yoder's canned bacon. In this camouflage can, we have 54 strips of tasty bacon that's going to give you over a thousand calories. And a lot of those calories will be fat calories, which is exactly what you're gonna want in a survival situation. Make sure you mark the date on the can when it's purchased as it typically won't have an expiration date listed on the can. Having some Yoder's canned bacon on hand is gonna be great in the collapse, but you're also maybe gonna want some canned ground beef so you can maybe have some hamburgs and bacon. This Keystone ground beef will typically have a best buy date pushed out more than five years from the date of purchase. This can was purchased almost two years ago and still shows a best buy of April 2028. Almost 500 calories in this can, this Keystone ground beef is a very popular canned meat option among the prepper community. Next on the shopping list, we had canned ham. We have both top selling brands of ham here. We have both the DAC and the Bristol ham. Very long storage sell-by dates on the canned hams, about 800 calories per can, a very popular long-term storage meat. If I'm going to eat this, it's going to be cut up into small pieces and fried up in a frying pan and mixed with scrambled eggs. And of course, we have the wildly appealing canned chicken breast. I have more canned chicken than any other canned meat right here. Two different brands of canned chicken here. We have Valley Fresh and Swanson. The Valley Fresh has the solid can top, so you may want to consider this over the Swanson when selecting your cans, as the tops will probably last a little bit longer. So I would go with this one for long-term storage. Also, we have some Hormel turkey in a can, white and dark meat with a solid can top. Next on the shopping list, we had the four best types of canned fish that you can pick up at the supermarket. Gonna have more protein and more fatty acids, getting some canned fish. Just what you need after a hard day's work on the wastelands, we have Costco brand wild caught Alaskan salmon, 160 calories and 34 grams of protein in this can. I have a bunch of these and we also have albacore pole cut wild tuna. Of course, we're going to have tuna on our shopping list. And how about some smoked rainbow trout? Good shelf life on these small cans. You could even throw a few of these in your bug out bag. We also have wild caught herring fillets. The small fish like herring are supposed to have significantly less heavy metal accumulation compared to something like tuna and these are a great source of fatty acids. Really far out best buy date on these small fish cans here. Last on the list for canned meats, we have these little micro cans of Vienna sausages, a favorite in the survivalist community. 
I think I got these little cans for 79 cents a piece. Another very small can you could possibly throw in a bug out bag. And of course you have lots of canned chili options in the canned food aisle as well to pick from. We have Amy's organic chili here. I try and buy organic if possible, even when it comes to canned food. And you'll have your full vegetable shopping list available to you, of course, in the canned food aisle as well. We have canned sweet potatoes, both large and small cans, white potatoes, diced, sliced, or whole, sliced carrots, organic green beans, cream style corn, organic peas, organic beans, and lentils. Maybe some canned organic pumpkin you can mix with your oatmeal and a few fruit options of mandarin orange slices and also rings of pineapple. And for a quick shopping list bonus, we did the top five jarred canned foods that you can pick up at the supermarket as well. And we have jarred peaches. This type was purchased at Costco and had a five year plus best buy date when I originally purchased it. We also have Parmesan cheese in glass jars and also organic spaghetti sauce, of course, will last a while in the jar. We have organic salsa, which will help provide you with extra vitamin C. And of course we have an excellent fat you can store and that's organic G. This is clarified butter, just a fantastic stuff. A little pricey for sure, but a great storage fat nonetheless. And for a canned dessert option for you, we have Devon canned custard. If you're looking for a great apocalypse dessert option, try jarred peaches and canned custard. So how long will all this canned food last? Most of this canned food is going to have a two to five year best buy date when you purchase it at the store. And that's probably going to be a best buy date and not an expiration date. A lot of this canned food may be safe to eat even past the 10 year mark. Safe to eat, yes. Not necessarily appealing or appetizing to eat. As time goes on, the food in this can is going to degrade in color, texture, taste, and nutritional value. So yes, it may be safe to consume, but it may not be the most appetizing, but of course, that depends on the circumstances of the time. What you wanna do to confirm that the food is still good is obviously any major indicators are going to be any rusted, dented, or bulging cans which should be an automatic no-go that the food's probably not safe to eat. In addition, when you open one of these cans up and it's been stored for a while, you're gonna wanna give it the smell test and confirm that the food smells as the food should and there is no additional uh, sour or sweet smell of the rancid nature uh, that shouldn't be present, which would be an indicator of some bad bacteria. So typically store all your canned food in a cool, dry place like a basement with a dehumidifier going just for both you know, long-term shelf life. Also keep in mind that you have all this food on hand in cans, you're gonna wanna keep at least two manual can openers on hand, of course, non-electric ones, the manual ones. And in addition to the standard manual, can openers, I wanted to show you two other methods real quick that you may have not seen before. We have these super small and lightweight World War II and Vietnam era can openers that used to be standard issue to the troops. These are US Shelby Company P38 can openers and they will open up a can slowly just like this. You can easily throw one of these in your bug out bag and it will add almost no additional weight. I'll put links in the description below for these. And of course, if all else fails, you can go crocodile Dundee style and open up a can of food with a knife. Just make sure you pick one that has a robust tip and then you're gonna lightly hammer that in and cut the can across. Just lightly tap the knife tip into the can with a rubber hammer or a block of wood and slowly work your way around until you have cut the entire lid, remove, and enjoy. After you've stocked your shelves with some 
canned food, you're probably going to want to look into buying some freeze-dried food which can last multiple decades. And if you're looking for a few freeze-dried food ideas, check out this video right here where I go over my top 25 freeze-dried food favorites.